How's it going? People scatter out the globe. My name is B Scat, and this is Final Fantasy. Welcome back, guys. And when we last left off, the well, in the past two episodes, let's catch up. The entire world uh, went into ruin. Uh, was destroyed. Sid died, uh, and Celise found that. That's about it. And today, people, I actually have a plan. Yes, let it say I have a plan of where to go. So, without further ado, I think we should get on moving, shall we? Now, on my screen here, I have a map of the World of Ruin. Because the first time I tried it, I had absolutely no idea where I was going. So, enough said. Alright, got that saved up. I want to. I just want to make sure he has. Yep, he has an Esper, and I believe I remember equipping him the last time. So, where are we headed? We are actually going to be headed over to the next island, quote unquote, over to find another another one of our colleagues. So, without further ado, let us uh, go. So I wanted to talk to you guys, talk to you guys about something just real quick. Because uh, for cer certain circumstances, I cannot exactly record every day for the rest of the week. And today is Tuesday the 11th. So what does that mean for you? It means that there's, if, instead of two videos a day, it's going to be reduced to one and it's not going to be as long. I just did that long longer video set to finish up the first half of the of the game and try to get to this point so now that you have that down I think that's about so the fact that any high school student dreads this finals are coming up so which means they're piling on the work and That means more homework for us, the students, which means less time to do anything else. Just, I'm just lucky I had a, uh, an early release today for professional development or whatever the hell it is. And I could get my homework done in time. With that being said, I don't think there's any, any anything else that needs to be said. Sorry, I cannot speak today. And also what's going on tomorrow is uh, I have a marching band meeting. Yes, marching band is coming up fast. And what does that mean? That means all throughout August that there's going to be less videos. And I can't even get my... Uh, I think that deserves a graduate... Uh, congratulations. My sister is actually also trying out for Martian Man, which means, unfortunately, that throughout, like, probably a bit, a bit of August, there's going to be no Final Fantasy, no anything videos whatsoever. It's coming up in the future, but for now, you have these wonderful videos to watch. Oh, hello, you're attacking me, so I attack you, and now you're dead. Mm, although I'm getting a whole bunch of money out of it, too, so that's good. So we are on our way to... Where is it? Number four. We are on our way to most where I believe we heard about last, last time. I think somebody was talking about Mobliz. So... And that's basically the only place we can go right now, so, uh, <laughs> I guess that makes sense as well. Yeah, these guys have, their health systems are really, really weird. But I don't care. 
So, after putting this stuff, it's about, uh, it's about 9, it's coming up on 9.30 now. I actually go and edit it right away. And, you know, that usually takes a while, probably until midnight, so I've been tired. But I have mentally made a mental to myself to provide you guys with all of these videos. So, whatever the cost. I will get this done. And those who know me in real life know that's true. So we should we should have at, like one or two more battles and we should be at our initial destination. I believe we are going to be meeting Setzer here. Correct me if I'm wrong in the game before. Uh, Devoin, bye. Oh, and you also noticed that... We didn't... Oh. oh, ooh. I believe I saw that correctly. Did Sabin finally... Uh, Monowin? Yes, he did learn Thundara, so he just needs Fyra and he'll be good to go. And how are you doing with Kirin? They're getting there. Because of the rate of learning, Kira can take a very long time, but it's going to be useful in the, in the end of everything. So what was I saying before? Oh yeah, um, so you notice that before we attacked uh, the De De Bowen in the last battle, it was also losing, losing health. That's one of the perks of this region. Because it's a world of ruin, everybody is dying. Even the, well, the end dying. Obviously at a much slower rate than we're attacking them, but nonetheless, they're dying, which makes things a little bit easier. Uh, after Kifka's raid, after Kifka rearranged the warring triad, uh, it was an all or nothing, and uh, guess who won? Don't worry, we're gonna be talking a lot more when we get to our destination. You know, after a while, Finding these ba finding these battles, finding these same enemies over and over and over again. Eh, you know, after a while, you have you really don't have anything to say. So, go fit. Welcome to Mobliz. A couple dogs there. Ah, oh, somebody's coming. Woof. Doggy. Oh no, we haven't met her yet. We are actually meeting um, Tara here. So, well, let's get a move on. Let's see what happens. Can loot in an elixir here. And we got stairs down here. to fight your way in here. We can fight too, you know. Wait. I kind of spoiled it already, but... <laughs> Mama, are these people your friends? I'm so, gl so glad to see you safe. I wanted to see you again. Tara, with us. There's no save in this world unless we defeat Keep Go once and for all. I know, but... Mom and Dad covered us when the light hit, and they didn't move anymore after that. Yeah... Dwayne and Katrin are the only ones here. Tara's our mama, and they're a big brother and sister. I don't... 
I saw him kissing Catherine. We call we all call Mama. Yeah, so these these little kids kind of depend on Tara. We're okay because we got Tara here. So I took everyone, everyone, mom, dad. Ah, all these girls are... The soldier in our village who was hurt went to sleep and didn't wake up. You're not gonna take mom away, are you? This is our village. You can't just waltz in here and do whatever you want. Tara is the glue that holds the village together. With her here, we're somehow able to... I... I can't find more. The day the world collapsed, Keeper turned his light event on this village. The adults, kids, his parents, they all died trying to protect their children. It's aimed out right at us. Protect the kids. Like that one kid said before. The mom and dad both fell into the crevice. Mom! Dad! This is a village of children now. Come to me from the moment I arrived. They needed me. You can't take You can't take care of from us. Terra. Dwayne, please forgive him. It's just, if we lose Taro, we lose the only thing that's holding this village together. Oh, uh, these kids need me. It's not like there's anything forcing, forcing me prote to protect them. It's a strange feeling. Once that feeling died to me, I lost the strength to keep on fighting. I feel like I'm on the verge of understanding something important. It's hard to describe, but the more I answer is the more I lose my strength to fight. So, there's a story. And they... They say the same thing. Now get ready, folks. Help him! Baba's coming! Oh boy. Yes, Hambaba was one of the creatures, the evil phantom demon creatures, that was let out after, um... After the Earl was ripped apart, world was ripped apart. Hambaba, the ancient monster released from the depths of the earth by the cataclysm. Protect the village! Alright, we got 1400 health. We're gonna put ourselves into a shadow way. And that'll make it stronger. Thundara just for the heck of it. Huh? Ow. No, 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 no. Go to 